Yes, you read the title right. Sherlock Holmes superpowers, like observation and deduction, that sort of thing. The coffee handle was on the right, so he was left-handed, but the bullet wound was on the left, which means there must have been another guy to shoot him from the right. You get the idea. How are we going to do this, you may ask? Well, it's quite simple. Raspberry Pi. No, not that kind of Raspberry Pi. This kind of Raspberry Pi. Yes, the little computer kind. Isn't it just beautiful? Specifically this one, because it's the 02W model. And while this mini computer comes with many, many wonderful features, the only one we really care about is this one, right here, because that allows us to connect to the internet. And the internet connects us with God's greatest gift to mankind. You see, just the other day, I was playing around with AI, asking it some very important questions. When I remembered, AI has a little thing called image recognition. So I thought, what would happen if someone were to upload a picture to AI and ask it to observe the image, Sherlock Holmes style, break it down, if you will? Would it be able to do Sherlock Holmes things? As it turns out, yes. Yes, it can. Weirdly good, in fact. We was able to break down the personality, academics, habits, emotional state, and other personal details. So naturally, this led me to the idea, what if we were to put this AI into a device that you can then strap to your face? So let's say you were in a park or any other public place. Simply put the glasses on your face, hold them up, and the glasses will provide all the most important information you might need to know. So the first step was to head into Tinkercad to throw together a quick 3D model. And by throw together, I mean steal one from the internet, because why make something yourself if you can just copy someone else's work for free? Now, as it turns out, you can't really fit a camera module, Raspberry Pi, and an OLED screen on a pair of glasses, so we're going to have to go back to the drawing board and think of a better alternative. And after a quick 3D modeling sketch, this time of my own creation, this is what we got. All the tech fits in there, and I think it'd be pretty cool if it was a Sherlock Holmes magnifying glass. It at least sticks with the Sherlock Holmes theme. The next step was heading over to PCBWay.com to have all the 3D printable files manufactured. Speaking of PCBWay, the sponsor of today's video, PCBWay makes custom PCBs, does assembly, CNC, 3D printing, and stocks a ton of Arduino and Raspberry Pi modules. Fast and affordable. So if you're into mechatronics or building or any of that kind of stuff, make sure to check them out at PCBWay.com and a massive thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring today's video. Now this will be my first time playing around with Raspberry Pi and I have absolutely no idea what to do, so this is going to be a learning experience for us together. And I've already run into a small issue. You see, the way these work is this is your HDMI, we got your power, and one, just one, USB outlet. Now the issue with one is you need a mouse and a keyboard. So I went on Amazon and I had to order something real quick. And what I picked up was one of these bad boys. This is a mouse and keyboard combo that only connects to one USB dongle. Thankfully the kit I bought already includes this regular USB to micro USB dongle situation. Now I just gotta install some updates and set up some Linux preferences. Now if you're unfamiliar with Raspberry Pis and its hats, one of the things you could attach is a small little camera. So I'm going to go ahead and try to run this little ribbon cable to this convenient little spot here on the Raspberry Pi. No wiring required. Okay, well this just doesn't fit, so I don't really know what to do. Okay, I think I figured it out. In this little camera box came two cables. This one, which we'll just disconnect from here. But they also included this cable. So from what I understand, I just gotta swap the cables out. And now I have to do a quick systems check to see if the Raspberry Pi is even detecting the camera. Fudge. Um, okay, maybe I had it the wrong way around. Two days later. All right, I bought a whole new camera. Let's see if this one works. Much, much, much later. Here's the thing. I've been doing a lot, and I mean a lot of troubleshooting to try to find out what is wrong with this Raspberry Pi. Why I won't read either of these cameras. Um, and when I say a lot, I mean a lot. Here's just a taste of what I've been doing. Um, 
I did eventually figure it out with a multimeter. Uh, the Raspberry Pi is physically broken. This part, the part that connects to the camera, it, it just doesn't get any voltage. It's, it's physically dead. Uh, it's a hardware issue. It's completely out of my control. Um, it's unfortunate, but at least we did figure it out at the end. So what I did have to do is buy a Raspberry Pi branded camera so that we don't have any driver issues and a brand new Raspberry Pi. So hopefully this will work right out of the box. Now that finally the camera's taken care of, there's only one thing left to do. And now to wire it all together with a little magic. Yeah, that's very impressive. Uh, now we just need somewhere to put it, which, oh, yep, perfect. Damn, they always do such a good job on the 3D prints. Once again, shout out to PCBWay. And then after a lot of coding, it was finally time to test out Sherlock Holmes' device. Here we have the finished product. It is completely self-sufficient. It's just plugged into the wall right now, but that could go into a battery bank. Um, yeah, it's a pretty cool handheld thing. Let's uh, test it in this environment. Here we have a couple of stuff. We have a, you know, soldering help. We have a Raspberry Pi, Arduino, model rocket. And this whole system is connected to a Bluetooth speaker. What should happen, point it at the situation, press the button, and then our magnifying glass should educate us, as Sherlock Holmes would, about what it thinks about the environment. So let's give it a little test. Point it at the situation, press the button. The subject is clearly an electronic enthusiast, perhaps even a hobbyist engineer. The presence of the helping hands tool, the Arduino board, and various electronic components suggest tinkering and prototyping. The Lego Saturn V rocket implies an interest in space exploration and perhaps a penchant for building things. Finally, the bottle of supplements suggests an awareness of personal health and well-being, or perhaps a need to combat the sedentary nature of the hobby. Holy crap!